how are you feeling? How are, how did you hold up throughout the game? It looked like you took a shot in the quad. Uh, just and how good is it to be back out there? Uh, it feels good. I mean, I was, I was definitely tired. For sure, you know, like I said, you can't match, uh, can't match game intensity. Um, but I mean, you know, you're gonna get, you're gonna get hit, you're gonna get hit, you're gonna get knee, you're gonna get elbowed. Those things are a part of the game. But uh, other than that, my body, my body's fine. How uh, just how did you handle, digest, react to just today's news overall? Uh, I mean, you know, um, like I said before, things like that happen. Um, but when it happened, it was like right before. I guess everything like went out. Tyrese texted the group and everybody's like, oh, you cap, you lying. And I was about to say, yo, why y'all listening to him? And then, bam, it comes out and it's like, wow. Um, but when I talked to him for like 30 minutes and, um, you know, that's that's definitely a guy that, that you miss. But, you know, um, like I said, especially with vets in this league, uh, if you've been through stuff like this, so, you know, you know, those type of things that happen. But, you know, when someone's trading on, a, on, on the day of a game, you know, you kind of know you're going to be shorthanded and things like that, but you still got to go out there and play. Oh, yeah, definitely. I think I think I can speak for everybody when, when they say everybody was shocked, for sure. You talked to him for 30 minutes. Uh, from your perspective, I mean, what the vibe that you get from him? Was he looking for this opportunity? He understood, you know, the nature of the, you know, the science of the business? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Definitely. I mean, um, you know, you, you build relationships with people. Um, you know, those are big things that, that happen in sports. And um, he understood, you know, what it was. I mean, it's basketball people, some of the best players in the world, you know, have gotten traded in, in all types of sports. So um, he understood it. And uh, I mean, Indiana is definitely getting a good one. They're getting a great one. Um, but he's ready. He's ready to go there and take over, you know, um, they just traded Karras and, and stuff like that. I don't know if I can talk about stuff like that. I can, right? Alvin can't. Yeah, I can say what I want. Um, you know, they just traded Karras and Malcolm's out. So Tyrese has a big, a big, big, big opportunity. And I mean, he's a big time player. So, um, I mean, he's going to go there and seize every opportunity that he's given. Darren, I remember how shook you were um, when you were younger and JJ and Shump both got traded. Was that did you see some of that in, in Ty today? Um, and, and, and him? Uh, I think so, just a little bit. Um, not as much as me because I've been through it now uh, a few times. But, yeah, I mean, I think being traded that first time or going through that the first time is definitely, you know, um, it's definitely different because, you know, when you're in college or in high school, you're not really changing like that. And obviously he didn't transfer in college. So it's like, you don't really see it like that. And you really, um, you really see how much of a business that this is. Yeah, De'Aaron, how do you see yourself fitting uh, alongside a player like Sabonis? Uh, I mean, he's, well, he's a monster. He's like an ox, um, but I mean, he does so many things well, you know, pick and roll, pick and pop. He can pass the ball, play make out of the post. I think we've double teamed them every year that I've played them. So uh, hopefully we can get some of that and, um, you know, he'll make the game easier for, for others. Uh, he'll get 20 rebounds if he needs to, get a triple double if he needs to. I mean, he does so many great things for us. Um, but just, I mean, just looking forward to the gravity and the presence that he has when he's on the floor. Do you think there will be a transition period of kind of learning to play alongside each other? Uh, I think there definitely will be. Um, but for me, Outside of you know Harrison, every once in a while, and Zebo, my first year, this is the first guy that we're that I that I'm really gonna play with that you can consistently throw the ball to in the post or whatever spot he wants to get the ball, and you know he can make a play for whoever it is, or he can go get a bucket. So um, it's definitely gonna be different, gonna be a learning process, but it's part of the game. In a big picture scope, how do you think this changes just sort of the the expectation or the goals trajectory of this season, given that? shipping off a, a second-year player for a two-time All-Star? Um, I mean, like you said, it's, it's, this guy's a two-time All-Star. He's, he's, he's done things in this league. He's um, he's proven. Obviously, we got older, younger. I don't know how you want to put it because, you know, Tristan and Buddy are a little bit older and then Jeremy's a little bit older. But, um, I mean, Sabonis has, you know, years left on his contract. So just being able to build chemistry and – um, obviously, he wants to win. You know, he's been an all-star. He's been in the play and whatever it is. And um, I think he's ready to win and get to the playoffs. So, you know, we're trying to ride that wave and, you know, do what we can to get there. 
Dear enough, I believe <coughs> Buddy Hill arrived maybe a half season before you <coughs> did. You played with him most of your career. Just wanted to know, uh, did you have a conversation with him before you departed? And what was it like, you know, you know, playing with him? Uh, I text Buddy, but um, man, I think today was like the second game. I think in my career that I played without Buddy. Uh, yeah, if I can remember, because last year we, in New Orleans, he had like some, uh, like a stomach flu or something. Um, but other than that, I don't remember ever playing a game without Buddy. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely a bit different. You know, he has a different type of gravity, you know, when he's on the court, even if he's not making shots, guys aren't coming off of him. Um, so it's it's definitely different when you're, when you're losing, you know, that much shooting. But like I said, it's, um, you know, you understand this business. And I was like, damn, buddy, Alvin traded him twice. <laughs> but yeah, it's, uh, you, you definitely miss that type of shooting. And even if he's not making shots, you definitely, um, you definitely miss that type of gravity that he has. Uh, Darren, have you ever played with a player that can pass, a big man that can pass like Sabonis? Uh, I mean, I played with Bam, but Bam wasn't passing in college like he does now. So I'm going I'm to I'm say no. For sure not. Darren, um, no, go ahead. I was just going to say, I mean, I know there's still two days left. Is this kind of, I mean, I don't know what, what your thought process is, but I think a lot of people get used to seeing deals happen on the deadline and then you move forward, but there's still two more days where things can ramp up. Is it kind of, how's that kind of affect your psyche? I mean, you're always like, you know, one domino falls and then everything, you know, has a snowball effect. Uh, so, you know, more things can definitely happen for sure. Um, but like I said, uh, well, we actually we play tomorrow and then we fly to D.C. Um, we're actually leaving a little bit later than we usually would because obviously the deadline. So some people might not be on the plane. You know, some people are. You, you got to. If you're on the plane, you got to be ready to play when we go to D.C. So um, I'm not really thinking of it, you know, any more than that. And just like I said, man, this, this is a business and you understand that and. Um, most of the guys, you know, outside of Davion and Nimi, I've been in the league for multiple years. So you understand what can happen at the deadline. And if you're traded, you go to the next city and you're ready to play. If you're not traded, if you're playing at home or if you're flying to the next city, you, you, you got to be ready to play, shorthanded or not. As somebody who's uh, signed up here long term um, and, and, you know, the organization's invested in you, does, does seeing a move like this, um, increase your own confidence in, in the direction of the franchise? Um, you know, obviously uh, having a guard like that definitely, you know, helps and takes pressure off. And then now you're coming with a different aspect than having a big like that. So um, I think so, but uh, I need to go out there and be more consistent and play, play my game and do what I know what I can do and, um, you know, let the chips fall where they may. Have you uh, had a chance to talk to Bonus yet, and then also, what do you think uh, the, the other guys in the deal are going to bring? Yeah, so I was both after the game. Uh, they were in the elevator. I was like, "Damn, Rick sent y'all off quick." Um, but yeah, um, I mean, I talked to those guys. Um, you know, Demon uh, Sabonis, uh, Justin, and, and uh, Jeremy. Um, talked to them upstairs. You know, just short conversation. Asked them what they want to be called. I'm like, "This is really for uh, Sabonis." I'm like, "I don't know what you what you're going to want me to call you." Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I talked to them for a little bit, and it's a chance that they can play tomorrow. It's a chance that they don't. We, and we're shorthanded again. But like I said, um, whoever's on the court, you, you come to the game ready. Yeah, Aaron, uh, Davion, and you are assumedly the backcourt of the future here now. How do you feel like you guys uh, fit together right now, and where do you feel like you still need to grow? Um, I think growing and just really just gelling together still. Um, you know, obviously knowing what he can do defensively and um, obviously when he was starting, he, he was he, he had a really good group going. Um, so just really want to continue that. And if y'all seen him, man, he can with the ball in his hands like he's he's one of the guys. He's probably one of the best guys with like his hesitation and how explosive he is with the ball. And then him shooting off the dribble, he's 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 excellent at it. And uh, he's just growing more confident and um, the more confidence that he gets, you know, and the better he plays, I think it makes us better long term.